something. So I'm asking everyone this. Uh, <laughs> I'm asking everyone this question, Francesca Martinez. This is. Um, <laughs> What would it take <laughs> for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you What would you need in re- What would you need in return for? Oh my God! Yeah, exactly. I think it would have to be the impending murder of a loved one. <laughs> right. So, so if Keith Allen broke into your house and said, "I'm going to kill your family unless you get blow me," yeah. yes, I still I don't think I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> this is really bad to say, but I, okay, the truth is, what I'd do is I'd act mental. <laughs> I would, I would start dribbling and going, ah! and hopefully he'd run away. No, that'd get Keith Allen going all the more. I'm afraid that's the. <laughs> he'd recognise a kindred spirit, and that would be. <laughs> that would be it. So um. <laughs> so my, my story doesn't have any cocks in it though, sorry. No, that's all right, that's fine. The, the next question I'm going to ask you does. There's a question I ask... Um, <laughs> so it's a good link. There's a question I ask all my guests. I want you to know this isn't just specially for you. I've asked everyone oh, okay. from the beginning. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What, what would you need in return for that? Fiverr. Fiverr, good. That's good to know. <laughs> everyone has their price. Could he wear a mask? <laughs> Can he be silenced and wear a mask? <laughs> no, well, no, wear a mask of your boyfriend. Oh, Could do that. That'd be nice. That'd be isn't weird it? Kind of romantic. Like it, it cocks different. To <laughs> um, it's older. <laughs> 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 they do Where change. Where do all these grey pubes come from? <laughs> <laughs> they do change. Uh, I don't. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing. nothing no. you would, nothing you would no, do. No, no. What if? Uh, you, I can't you could even. I'm rubbish at like thinking about other men when I'm in a when I'm in a lovely relationship. I can't. Yeah. Like uh, like if, say for example I was. Fantasizing. Yeah. Uh, I can't. It, it feels weird to fantasize about uh, blokes that aren't my boyfriend mm-hmm. because it, I'm sort of like, oh, I can't, you know, go away, Denzel Washington. <laughs> 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 it feels uncomfortable. Maybe we'll just go for tea. I have no uh, discomfort with fantasizing about other people <laughs> other than my girlfriend. One of my uh, one of my previous girlfriends <laughs> asked me uh, if I, I, I ever. She said, "Do you ever think about other people when you're wanking?" And she was really kind of cross that I would do that. And I didn't have the heart to tell her that I usually thought of other people when I was having sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Now she knows. <laughs> it's gone. What would it take um, for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you want? Oh, to okay, say? I heard that. You're the one. Um, yeah, I told I, you I you knew the question. Don't think I would. You don't. Want, there's nothing that you could get in return. I don't care about people, so I couldn't go like world peace. Yeah. I couldn't give a shit. Um. As, uh, and there's not, I don't want for anything in my life. I'm, right. quite, I'm quite happy with, with my lot. Yeah, yeah I, g- I, I, I do all right. No, I, yeah. I'm not well off, like rich or anything, but no. w- I've got what I want. You've got happiness. I've got some full size Muppets. Have you? And as soon as I got them, I was like, I can't think of anything else I want. <laughs> <laughs> quite genuinely, I've got Animal and Gonzo, like full size Muppets, in my living room. I've got a Muppet corner in my living room, which is all the old Palisades Muppet toys, mm. which they, they can't get them anymore because no. they went bust. <laughs> and it's, it's all them on shelves. Right? A full collection of that on shelves. Yeah, full collection. Um, Gonzo and uh, an animal. Um, d- 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 they made a Kermit as well, which I've not got. Right. But there was a bloke selling one on eBay recently, but he wanted 500 quid. And I thought that was slightly too much. <laughs> um, so I, I, I went, I'll give you 350 for it. And he, and he went, no way. No way. It's <laughs> worth more than that. I went, okay, it's fine. I'm just offering it. And he went, no, no way. We'll have sell it for less than 500 pounds. Um, so I didn't get it. Oh. Um, so <laughs> I suppose if Keith Allen had a... Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> you did for Kermit. <laughs> so what you're saying essentially 500 pounds. That, like, that is what you, they, we all have our price. Yeah. <laughs> and yours is 500 quid. Of Keith Allen, though, speaking yeah. of Keith Allen, um, I very, very nearly was involved in a gang attack on Keith Allen. <laughs> you know, we were talking. We all nearly were. Yeah. A laugh riot. So I'm gonna. Uh, this in is my question, bed last This night. is a question I ask all of uh, my guests, Shafi. So don't think. The answer's is yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 that doesn't make sense with this particular question. But thank you, Chris. Actually, I have. I've instead. I told my. I think. I think you're fine today. Uh, so uh, I, I ask everyone this: What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? <laughs> What would you want in return for Funny that? Funny you should say that. Yeah. He, he gave... <laughs> last, the reason I didn't sleep last night was... He gave me 20 quid once. Yeah, did he? <laughs> he did. And was that enough? 
no, it was, um, I was in Glastonbury, yeah. I was with my brother, and we were absolutely brassic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I spat on you. <laughs> it was good, it was a good speech. I think, I think it was snot. I think it fair. was snot. I was going to say, they're very fine, as you laughed, a, a globule of snot came out of your nose and went towards the ladies on the front row. Did it get you? Because that, that, some people would pay a lot of money for Shappy Kazandi <laughs> to shoot snot on them. <laughs> How much would Keith Allen pay for that? A lot of money. A lot of money. So don't dodge the question. Okay, How well, much would, it, what would you want in return for flating Keith Allen? That's not the. I thought for a second Keith Allen was at the stall trying to save trees. I thought that doesn't sound like he... Maybe I've misjudged Keith Allen. Maybe he's a lovely... No, it turns out he's a cunt. <laughs> What would you do? What would you do? To okay. Um, what do you need? Because it doesn't have to be money. It can be, you know, some people, it's just an interesting way of finding Oh, like out. saving elephants. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, saving <laughs> if an elephant was saved. If, no, well, if no. Keith Allen was about to shoot an elephant and said, suck my cock, or it, the elephant dies, well, no, would you do it? No, I wouldn't. But yeah. if it was to so save... So you want, a, you want elephants then, to die now? So you're no. So, you're <laughs> no, letting no, everyone down. I'd fillet an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fillet an elephant to save Keith Allen. <laughs> um, I'd, fillet, I'd fillet an elephant to kill Keith Allen. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's the beef? Oh, it's a, it goes back. A oh, long it way. goes back. Oh, it goes a long Is way. Is it in your back. book? It's in. Uh, no, it's in all the. If you go and listen to all these podcasts, you get it. He basically sabotaged. He sabotaged a show I did oh. when I was a student and was very nasty and rude. It's mainly that. Then he went out with Julius Sawal before I didn't ruin that. <laughs> uh, every every Keith time. Keith Allen went out with uh, Julius Sawal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, blimey! My she doesn't goodness. go for. She goes for weird men, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he must have one hell of a personality. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's got a lot of chil children from different um, women. That's okay, all. I I think if someone said fillet Keith Allen and pandas would no longer be an endangered species, I'd I'd go fuck pandas <laughs> <laughs> with their black eyes and their <laughs> cute faces, but actually they're killers. Um, I don't know if I would do anything you to... You don't have to do it. What about famine? You could stop famine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to fillet him. So would anyone watch? <laughs> <laughs> I That's think I'd need, I, I'd need my mum to hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would just make Keith Allen all the more excited. That's my... That is my guess. I mean, it's good to describe my idea. I've just made up a fantasy Keith Allen in my head, who's much worse than the real one, which is hard. You and our Nadia Swahala. That's no, she's Julia, hot. not oh, Nadia. Julia. Julia. <laughs> Julia's hotter than Nadia. Hmm, no, maybe not. <laughs> the audience has spoken, the Sawala family. Nadim Sawala, he's the hottest. Do you like Nadim? Yeah, I've met him in an yeah, audition. A, I bet. Playing nice a, a Middle East. He's Middle Eastern, isn't yeah. he? Where well, they yeah, they're from Jordan. Jew Jewish Iraq? Jewish? Jor are they Jewish? I don't think they're Jewish. They're no. from Jordan, originally. Didn't you ask? I didn't I ask if they didn't go, are you Jewish? No. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse no. me, are you Jewish? Because <laughs> if you are... <laughs> I don't mind the Jordanian thing, I can cope with that, but Jewish, come on. Before he started laughing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Well, look, I'm asking all my guests this question, Barry. Um, <laughs> what would you need in return? What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need? I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry I have to ask it, you, Barry. I feel bad, but I've asked, I've asked literally everyone about it. What would you need... To uh, fillet the Keith actor, Allen. Keith Allen. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I would do it posthumously. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might end up doing that if I know Keith Allen. So that might <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of thing. Very good. Top answer. That's, that's the best one so far. Susan Cowman now in second place. I should have like a little Top Gear style list <laughs> yes, <laughs> of where <laughs> I can place each answer in the in the list. Um, so yeah. And I've been checked up, and I'm where's the wood? I'm all right. And Chris, my doctor, says I don't get it. You're 76. How long have you been smoking, Baz? He'd never <laughs> asked me that. Yeah. And I thought, God, I was a cliche. I was behind the bike sheds at school. You know, 60 years. Must be six years smoking. He said, I'm a doctor. I give up. He said, <laughs> what is your DNA, your metabolism? And I'm not proud of that. I'm just grateful, you know. Maybe if you smoke enough, it makes you immortal. That's the thing. The, people, the people who die aren't just aren't doing enough of it. That's, yeah. Well, let's try that as an I experiment. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the couple of pints of beer. That's a terrific thing. So but look. given the choice yeah, between smoking and fellating Keith Allen... <laughs> 
Yeah, smoking <laughs> just <laughs> just makes it. <laughs> but you're very you you are a gent like I think Jerry. In fact, in real life, is a very gentle. Surprise. I've been very lucky. Yeah, very, very lucky. lucky. Yeah. I'm asking all my guests uh, this question. Yeah. What would it take? <laughs> okay. What would it take for what would you want in return to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you? Ah. Oh, okay, mean? that's interesting. Presuming you haven't done it already. Uh, yeah. Um, what, what would, would you it want take in return? Um, I take a, a three-star review. Three-star <laughs> review. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Um, <laughs> Yeah, oh god, that's a it's a tricky one, isn't yeah. it? Um, for a, oh god, but it's the classic quote. But why Keith Allen? Um, it's just you know why not? Uh, I have a little bit of a vendetta against him. If you it must know, it started. So you want me to give him a blowjob? That's his way of getting him back. Do, yeah. <laughs> Josh, you give really shit head. Gonna, that's gonna really fuck him up. It's because uh, I believe it started when Matthew Crosby was one of my early guests. Said he, we were talking about Keith Allen because yeah. one of my stories was about him wrecking my show in Edinburgh. And uh, Matthew Crosby said he'd once gone to a bar and <laughs> Keith Allen had come in and said, "Who wants to suck my?" <laughs> I think that's where it started from. And then realised he didn't know anyone in the bar and it looked a bit weird <laughs> and just had to shut up. I'm just so annoyed that he was stealing my material. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrific. Well, look, we've got, we got uh, another. We've got two Joshes. Today, I'm called the show. I was going to say this at the beginning. To one of them. Thank you very much. My name's Josh Willicom. Cheers. Good night. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Josh Willicom, ladies and gentlemen. He's my favourite comedian called Josh. Oh. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Shall we end the show? <laughs> Actually, I've got an answer to. I just when we we're backstage, an answer yeah. to your question about the because I never answered it. We're going what? To, to to suck his cock. Yeah. I would be. I'd like to be Josh Widdicombe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! In your dreams. So uh, <laughs> he's, he's very good. He's very good. But so are you. And people, what time's your show? Context: You're in the dark and, that, and um, where's masks? So no, I don't hear. Yeah, I'm asking all of my guests this, Simon. Oh, yeah. uh, you may have heard this question from backstage as you're on afterwards. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need? <laughs> what would you need in return to carry out that sexual act upon <laughs> the actor Keith Allen? I'd have to be in some some deep state of despair. <laughs> uh, or drunk. <laughs> 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 no, it's probably a gram. A, a gram, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> half 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 a jar of Nescafe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking all my guests this yes, question, Dan, and you have yes. listened to an yeah, episode, so you are prepared for it. Uh, what would you need in return? And if maybe this, given you're so sexually desperate, I'm maybe, not you wouldn't, desperate. maybe you wouldn't need very much. What would it take for you to fillet the actor Keith Allen? What would you need in oh, return for that? It's it's all It's just I was. I've been trying to think of a facetious, you know, funny answer, and I literally. It's just a horrible idea, because it. I bet cock smells of poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got, he's got that sort of just. He's gonna be, you know, grabbing it when he's on the loo. Oh, and just not wash, not wiping properly. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna, you know, like Jared Duffadger pissed all over that plane. The yeah, other I do. Day. Yeah, 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 yeah Duffadger. <laughs> They'll be pissing the rim. Do you think he's? Do you think Keith Allen circumcised or uncircumcised? I imagine. I, I think it's difficult to tell. I think yeah. it's, it's furred over like a kettle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people. Someone in. So the yeah, room. a mouth, a mouth full of, you know, uh, de scaler yeah. or something. That might. That do. Would, that that would need I think I'd have to be penis. really. It'd have to be a saving the world. It would have to be an Armageddon situation where you know either Bruce Willis it can stop the rock falling or right. Yeah. Suck off, suck off. Keith, <laughs> Keith Allen. I wonder if anyone in the has anyone in the room seen Keith Allen's cock? And that is um, a light. Has anyone in real life? In real life, has anyone in, seen in it? Because he often gets it out. In no, no one, no, 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 no members of the Groucho Club here clearly because he does that all the time. Apparently, I don't go to that. I won't be a member of any club that would have Angus Deaton as a member. So I won't go. I won't go. That's the cleverest joke you're going to hear in yeah. all of these podcasts. The, the Tufty Club was the first one, of course, you couldn't join. Yeah, he was very good on road safety. <laughs> oh.